okay so today we will start discussing on this uh, transportation unit management because last session we have uh, discussed on the wave management and how the waves will be working and other stuff so let me know once you're able to see my screen okay okay are you able to see that hope oh. yes right everyone okay now in this particular one try we will try to understand the significance of having the transport units okay where exactly we will be referring this particular uh, business scenario ideally we will try to have this particular transport units in both inbound and as well as in outbound ideally so if you see this this particular picture whatever we have it this particular transport unit whatever we have ideally it is a combination of your vehicle plus a container indeed so it could be a trailer or it could be your container or whatever it is a transport unit all the time we will have it as a combination of your vehicle and a container for that now when we are talking about your transportation unit ideally it most of the cases we will be dealing with the handling it's not most uh, all the time we will start referring this to your handling units only so basically a tu is nothing but it's the combination of a multiple handling units where we are trying to have it in one handling unit more or less means in this particular container what we try to do we will either have one full of uh, handling unit products or you would have a multiple hus or a cartons that's what i said so even this particular container whatever we are trying to refer this is also a kind of a packaging material that we would be referring it over here okay so a transport unit is all the time it is nothing but it is a hu with your product handling units residing inside that okay that is what the significance of having your transportation units here more or less now when we are trying to create or when we are trying to have this particular transport unit in place basically we will have two different activities coming into the picture one would be the tracking of the physical movements and the other one is not tracking the physical movements more or less so what we are trying to perform here basically is the tu whatever we try to have and not physical movements means for example if you physically see in any of the warehouses basically you will have a vehicle receiving into your or maybe your dispatching or maybe you receiving whatever we do it <clears throat> the very first step what it tries to do is at the entrance of the uh, a warehouse maybe at the gate or somewhere you'll have something called as a check in point maybe, okay where your warehouse supervisor or a clerk will try to see what kind of a goods that you are getting it and where you are trying to place it so ideally what happens it tries to have a physical movement so like for example if you see this this is an entry and this is an exit and we will try to ent enter from here and then we will try to uh, park it if in case if there door door no doors freely available and then we will dock to the door right so in that instance basically if you want to track the each and every movement of your vehicle then that is something where we will have it as the yard management basically that is something which is completely outside your warehouse however when we are talking about something only the not physical movements of your vehicle if you don't want to track any of the physical movements then that particular one we will call it as a shipping and receiving and tracking the physical movements that is something where we will have it in the yard management okay so these are the two different options actually are available for us in order to take care of this particular transportation unit okay if you are talking about this uh, shipping and receiving activities then that is something where we will have it okay without tracking means what happens a vehicle will directly a vehicle will come into your warehouse but you will not track any physical movements of that particular vehicle it simply gets docked to your door and you start doing your loading or your unloading activities that is what we will have the 
transportation unit okay and if you try to have the yard management in place where we will try to track all kind of a physical movements here means you will try to first have your uh, vehicle coming in and then putting it in the parking lot and then we will try to dock the door so these are the two different activities which we will have it however this particular transport unit whatever we are referring to ideally it can be created in that t uh, from the system in multiple ways okay now we will be seeing in one method like what we will directly create it manually so 80 percent of the cases we will have the tu creating manually in the rest of the other cases we will have your letr integration through an idoc where a transport unit gets created automatically and we do have another uh, instance from the ED, sorry from the transportation management module where a tu can be planned from tm as well and another one which we call it as a dock appointment scheduling so there are multiple ways that we have this transport unit getting created okay so if we try to drill down much more uh, the activities that we see here in the shipping and receiving activities what happens is manually we will anyhow we will create a transport unit but we will assign the door to the TU and then we will start performing your uh, loading and your unloading activities. That is what we will try to perform. However, when we are talking about your yard management, okay, because today we will try to see this loading one and tomorrow we will see this yard management one, okay. In this particular yard management, what we try to do, we will check in, okay, and then we'll park it and then the system gets automatically the door assignment. Okay, this is where this yard management will come into the picture. However, we'll first understand the transport unit concept and then we will slowly get into the other stuff. Okay, now when we are talking about this particular uh, uh, transport units, most of the cases, like 99% of the warehouses, the mode of transportation, there are two things here, guys. Again, one is your mode of transportation, the other one is your means of transportation. Ideally, what does this both the things refer to? Maybe mm, one second. I can, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you see this means of transport here, what is this means of transport tells ideally means? what kind of a vehicle that you are representing it that's what i said in most of the cases in some business cases we will have a warehouse connecting to a rail in case of a dockyards but 99 percent like your dcs or your warehouses most of the cases it would be the road only because where you'll have the accessibility to your trucks your vehicles or whatever it is you will try to okay have the accessibility so the mode of transportation would be always a road like 99 percent and means of transport would be a vehicle means what kind of a vehicle that is maybe a 50 feet container or a 40 feet container or a 100 feet container so that is what your means of transport represents because this master data it's a kind of a cross-functional master data cross-module master data where it will be even used in your transportation management and also in the ewm management